All right, guys, so we're going to talk about flies and variations, okay? Now, I've covered a certain specific type of flies or in one of the other videos. This, I'm going to cover more of variations that you could do. You could do them with dumbbells, you could do them with cables, you could do them flat, incline, decline. Um, certain machines might let you do them, right? Same thing as uh, the bench press, making sure your shoulders stay back, right? If you feel any type of impingement on your traps or your shoulder joint, then I would suggest not doing it. Or if you have any past injuries, create more stability through the shoulders, okay? Um, make sure your feet are fairly flat onto the ground and get your chest nice and tall, right? Make sure you're contracting. So if you, whichever one you're doing, the motions are pretty much the same. Don't fully lock out your arm have a slight bend so that way you get a stretch and don't go too far down because then you're overstretching the muscle, right? Just go directly to your side and then come back up. If you don't have much range of motion, then you might not want to go as far because you might tear something. Another thing is if you're looking at me lying down or whichever angle, you don't want to go too high or too low. So let's say I'm doing flat, right? When I'm doing the fly, I want to go directly to my chest, right? Have a slight bend, I get a good stretch. I don't want to go here, I don't want to go there because now I'm putting that humerus and the shoulder joint in possible, you know, danger zone. So you want to avoid that. So uh, those are some things to keep in mind with your flies when you're doing those. Uh, so if you have any questions, uh, email or do the comments or if you're a client, then just go ahead and direct message me or email me. All right, take care guys.